or yes, a very warm welcome on the Buzz UG. Uh, my name is uh, Melaz Milo, aka Fula. And uh, in case you haven't subscribed, kindly subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Yes, I'm back to keep you posted on the stories happening in the country. Uh, first of all, I'm sorry I wasn't around, you know, to keep you posted on the stories happening in the country. But it's because I had a function, as you can see in the picture right there. I had a function that I had to attend and uh, I'm finally back. I'm going to be keeping you posted on the latest stories happening in the country. Don't forget to follow me on TikTok. I'm Melads Milo, aka Fula, right there. Yes, there has been another shooting in the country. Yes, we have registered another shooting in the country and uh, this has happened in Mokona district in a place called Chiwanga at Meru Petrol Station. A security guard right there has shot and killed a Uganda Christian University student. The student has been identified as Agaba Rudney and uh, the security guard has been identified as Tugume Kadli. Uh, it is reported that uh, these two had a dispute and uh, the deceased attempted to climb the wall face and uh, you know that prompted the security guard to shoot at him uh, fatally injured and then uh, rushed to hospital on reaching in hospital uh, the guy was uh, pronounced dead yes it is very very unfortunate but uh, police says they have already arrested the suspect and uh, He's under police custody as we speak right now. But it should be remembered that uh, shootings are getting on another level right here in the country. Uh, last week, we had another shooting in northern Uganda, a Gago district that is a Choli sub-region. Yes, a UPDF soldier shot dead a footballer right there and police said that it was a targeted shooting. Uh, we also had another shooting in Masaka. Yes, we had another shooting in Masaka sub-region, Kalisizo. A mobile money shop was uh, raided right there by armed robbers. You must have seen a video circulating on a different social media platforms. And uh, it is reported that uh, they stole 150 million Uganda shillings. However, the owner of the shop, uh, that is uh, Maurice Luanga, he said that uh, they took off with about 200 million Uganda shillings. But uh, good enough, the employees in that place were not killed, but uh, the employer said that uh, they were traumatized and uh, they were rushed to hospital and uh, currently they're in hospital receiving treatment. Yes, so that was also another shooting that we registered last week. But uh, another serious shooting that we had last week, uh, it was uh, the death of, uh, you know, lawyer Ronnie Mukisa who was killed in uh, cold blood. Yes, Ronnie Mukisa was killed and uh, the wife was arrested. It is as if the wife knows about the death of Ronnie Mukisa. Yes, so she was arrested and is uh, currently in police custody. Yes, so that was also another shooting that we had last week. And Ugandans are so much concerned about these shootings that are happening in the country. Uh, we don't know what President Museveni is government is doing about these shootings but of course we hope that uh, something serious is being done to make sure that we come to the end of these shootings because every week every week we must register shootings in this country uganda may all their souls rest in peace now, President Museveni has finally confirmed uh, the number of uh, soldiers we lost right there in uh, Somalia. We all know that last week, but one, uh, the UPDF soldiers in Somalia were attacked by the Al Shabaab militants. And uh, we've been waiting for the UPDF spokesperson, that is a Brigadier General Felix Kulaije, uh, to confirm to us how many soldiers we lost right there. And uh, the Al Shabaab militants came out and uh, told us that uh, we lost 137 UPDF soldiers right there. But uh, President Museveni, while speaking to the NRM members of parliament in Changwanzi, he said that uh, we lost 54 UPDF soldiers, not 137, as it had been communicated by the Al Shabaab militants. Yes, officially, we lost 54 UPDF soldiers. And uh, Museveni said the two UPDF commanders in that battle have been arrested. It is reported that uh, these commanders actually. Uh, told the UPDF soldiers to run away and that led to the death of uh, these 54 UPDF soldiers we lost right there. And among the 54 bodies, a commander who's been identified as Major uh, Nyororo uh, was also confirmed dead. We hope that, uh, you know, the arrangements are underway to get these bodies to their families. May all their souls rest in peace.
Well, there you go. Uh, that is uh, the latest update I have for you right now on the Buzz UG. I don't know what you have to say about these stories, but in case you have anything on your mind, just put it down in the comment section. And uh, most importantly, subscribe to the Buzz UG in case you haven't. And also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Don't forget to follow me on TikTok. I'm Melads Milo, aka Fuller. It is a bye for now. Thank you.